We're here, Acting Grand Sage Al Haytham. What's our next course of action? Hmm. Acting Grand Sage Al Haytham. Looks like you haven't read any memos lately. The new Academia Decree clearly states that even a sage doesn't have the authority to interfere with the Matra's actions during an ongoing investigation. If your superior were here, he wouldn't be asking me what to do. Instead, he'd be telling me to stay out of the way. You're right. Understood. Then please wait here as we lock down the perimeter and search for suspicious persons. Ilyas, please stay here. Acting Grand Sage Al Haytham, I'll have to trouble you with the protection of our primary witness. <sighs> sure. Though I'd rather he just protect himself. Answering a simplistic question only enables the questioner. Besides, I need him to understand my position clearly. Arav has just as many doubts about my coming along as you do. But unlike you two, he's making this matter more complicated than it is, with his considerations like the acting Grand Sage is trying to seize the Matra's powers. That question was obviously bait. The Matra were once under the influence of the Sages, and so were often subject to these bureaucratic traps. The test was strictly unnecessary, though. I hope that our exchange will assure him that I won't interfere with their work this time. Ugh, why is this so complicated? This is why I was against becoming the Acting Grand Sage from the very first. Titles and rank inevitably make a lot of things more troublesome than usual. Excuse me, Acting Grand Sage Alhatham. I've had a question on my mind, and I need to know the answer no matter what. Have we met before? No. I have no recollection of ever meeting you. Haha! <laughs> I thought so too. <clears throat> I probably wouldn't have had anything to do with someone of your caliber. Then why did you ask? Well, for some reason I felt a sense of familiarity when I met you for the first time. Really? A misperception, perhaps. Or... Acting Grand Sage Al Haytham, we've apprehended a suspect. Siraj? No, it's the Kasharawar researcher who has dealings with him. His name is Narendra. S Acting Sage Al Haytham? Wait, uh, can someone please explain what's going on? I admit that I, I did steal some mechanical components from the lab and sell them, but does something like that really warrant the personal interest of the acting Grand Sage? Wh what have I gotten myself into? I, I, I know I let Greed get the best of me, but, but, but please, I promise that this won't ever happen again. I would like to ask him a few questions. Of course. Do you know Siraj? Yeah, that's the name of my buyer. He asked to make the transaction at the tavern, but he never showed up. What were the details of this transaction? He's doing some kind of experiment that seems to require many power generators and electrical components that can only be found in our project. He contacted me in private and said that he'd pay a large sum of Mora if I was willing to put some aside for him under the pretense of them being defective parts. We had originally agreed to meet at the tavern earlier today to do the trade. I sure didn't expect to get stood up, or run into you all. Perhaps Siraj was aware that Ilyas might leak information, so he intentionally didn't show up. Whatever the case, it seems that this lead ends here. The good news is, regardless of what Siraj was planning, his progress will now be severely hindered by a lack of power generators and electrical components. We still have time to conduct our investigation. Do you have any more questions for the suspect? No, he's all yours. But I'd like to borrow Ilyas for a while. Oh, that's fine. We conducted a comprehensive lie detection exam, which showed that he has a genuine case of amnesia. We're not planning to pursue any further breakthroughs on that front. However, I am curious. What do you need him for, exactly? I've read some papers regarding amnesia, and I'd like to try restoring his memories. I see. 
We'll be returning to the Academia then. I'll leave Ilyas in your care. Follow me. 